happening there. You know, it's a nice little park effect, you know. And, uh, you know, the path is a little bit washed out. You know, the, the rains were kind of kind of heavy and hard. And you got a lot of leaves on it. And so it's, you know, a little treacherous in spots, but you can't see you know, what's going on exactly. So now we're coming towards about the midway point. And uh, there's a little picnic table there that's uh, sure it's been around for about 30 years. And it's been, you know, wrecked a few times and uh, repaired. And this uh, used to be, uh, <clears throat> well, this is right above the uh, the area, the, the swimming hole area. You can see the, the trees got moved around a little bit like, with the very heavy rains. And see that big tree there, that, that, uh, that's right by the swimming hole. And that, uh, that was a big, kind of a disaster is that sort of, oh, so, you know, any time you turn the camera on, always some idiot, you know? Ugh, God, people. Anyway, so there's the picnic table, you know? And, uh, you know, there's the tree that used to be uh, standing up and used to kind of hold the bank together so you could uh, get the little area of the stream pretty deep. And, uh, you know, now that's all washed out, though, it's, it's uh, probably never going to never gonna be five feet deep again, I don't think. So that's kind of disappointing. And there's another flower thing I put up, you know, but uh, the frost took care of that. Yeah. You know, you know it, did, it did used to look like something and not a bunch of dead garbage. But, you know, everything turns into dead garbage eventually. That's where we're all heading eventually. That's, you know, life. Life is, you know, the way it is. Blah, blah. So, you know, but that used to be the swimming hole there. And you can see it's just kind of a foot deep, kind of washed out all together. Just like it's never even existed. It's just quite amazing. You know, and, uh... Too bad. Yeah, I thought I saw a salmon there. No, I guess it wasn't a salmon. So anyway, this is uh, the path still going down. It's, you know, there's a stream view there. You know, and it's uh, very relaxing and nice, and you know, it's a stream doing its thing. And it's going along. And that's a, it's a Sasquatch footprint, I think, in there. Yeah, I think that was one of his footprints. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, this is what you can see. This is sort of washed out. And if you look up there, see this person. You know, see this person walking through the park. See, people do use the park for their walking pleasure. Yeah, that's what they do. And uh, it's just more of the, you really can't see the effect in this video, but uh, you know, it got washed out pretty bad here. So there's some gullies and ruts. You know, it's a pretty big rain. So there must have been quite a lot of water rushing through there. So anyway, we're continuing down the path, and then we're coming towards the end here, and we will run into Patriot's Path that uh, goes along the sewage plant, and uh, you know intersects with the uh, Ironia Road on one side, and you go all the way down the other side. It hits uh, the bottom of Mountain Side Road down by the mud hole. I mean uh, Mountain Avenue by the mud hole. So you can take that path there. That'll take you to the mud hole, and. Uh, you know, if you go the other way, as we're panning around, you follow the stream, so to speak, uh, that'll take you down towards the sewage plant. So I think we'll be heading down that way in this video. And uh, it should be, yeah, there we go. There was some horses over here. Thought maybe I could get a picture of them, but it didn't work out too well. I got a, a back end of a horse. And look at that, a horse hiding behind a tree. And, uh, you know, you know, it's an uh, interesting horse eating grass, yeah, but, uh, you know, hey, hey, do what you can. No, okay, so the horses weren't very cooperative. See, that? as soon as they knew I was watching, they decided to hide behind trees. I mean, that one, you can kind of see why, it's in kind of a rough shape. But anyway, you know, there was a, a person there trying to break into the sewage plant, I believe. I, I think it was a terrorist, and uh, I think my presence there scared him off, and so, uh, I think I saved the town from uh, a terrorist attack on uh, their sewage plant. I, think, I believe I did. Um, so I was looking down in there, and there's the sewage plant there. You can see the whole, oh, these are what you call evaporating pools in the front. There's two of those, and, and that's why they have like a little fountain in there. Is because they're basically trying to evaporate the water. And they still bulldozer going by. They're doing quite a bit of construction still. And so this was an attempt to get a better view, but the, uh, 
you know, it really didn't work out too well. But you can see, you know, water squirting out. So the idea is to evaporate the water. And uh, so this is, you know, you can see this is lots of construction here. We've got a new building there, a little one, some big giant crane there. It's been there all summer, really since last winter. And so I don't know exactly what these buildings do. I don't know what the purpose of all this stuff is, but uh, the idea is to, you know, make the sewage plant uh, compliant, you know, with the newer regulations. So these are basically, there's two pools here. There, that was basically the old sewage plant. That was all it was, was those two pools. And they put a new one in the back, you know, with big jets on it and stuff, a real fancy one. And uh, so they put in another big cement pond for something, you know, with this new construction. Here's the road heading out towards um, Ironia Road. The road's in bad shape, as you can see. And this building here holds the, that's where they keep the generator, the emergency generator, so if the power goes out, they can still pump the water and such. And uh, I think that's a, uh, a fluorescent treatment kind of thing. It's, you know, the stuff goes through there and gets hit with, bombarded with a lot of fluorescent light to, uh, you know, kill the bacteria and whatnot. And that's the, I think that tank just holds excess so if it rains or does something they can pump it into there and so they don't have to dump it into the stream you know or some other place uh, this is the outlet into the stream and you really can't see it on the video but it does cloud the water you know a bit so 